is Radio Fun. Well, that's the name of my channel. But is it really fun? Well, uh, let me show some things. On the background you hear my homebrew analog radio made for frequencies as far as I know around 7 megahertz. But like I told in an earlier video, I'm also uh, interested in software defined radio and a friend of mine has installed this completely for me. So don't ask me too many questions. Here's a dongle. I have already uh, talked about that dongle. And here is, say, the up converter. This is the up converter. Uh, and the up converter, the only aim of that up converter is that it transports, not transports, but in a certain way transports the, uh, say, 100 kilohertz up to, say, 30 megahertz band into a frequency that the dongle can recept. And the dongle is made for frequencies higher than 25 megahertz. So then it's in fact a mixer. And I experimented somewhat with antennas. I had a very, very long antenna connected to it. And it did not work at all. So I hope that I can give a kind of insight in uh, how this SDR radio works. At the moment I am not, I'm not receiving anything. It has everything to do with the fact that I have, uh, say, removed my antenna. And the antenna now is a wire of approximately, say, one Let's say 1.50 meters. Uh, anyway, so let's listen. Only 1.50 meters. And this is an AM radio station on software defined radio. And of course, my antenna is. Far from ideal. Far from ideal. Only a, a say, stupid wire of uh, two meters or so. But you can receive, in this case, a radio station on 9.45 kilohertz. So I want to move the pointer a little bit. Hope it succeeds. So, now I move that pointer, tuning over the band. Here's a radio station. Faint, by the way. And now the mode is AM, amplitude modulation, anyway. That's in general normal for broadcast radio stations. Here also a slight Here's a radio station, surely. I don't understand the language, but anyway, it works. Even with this, say, stupid antenna of a wire of three meters, sorry, uh, two meters, hanging in the air. Tuning again, and here we have a surely a good radio station. And please realize these are my first attempts. 
and you can switch in a filter. I've now switched in a wide filter. Perhaps a smaller filter will work better. Narrow filter. Of course, in such a case, when you switch in a narrow filter, the tuning gets very, very precise. So let's try again. So, this is a radio station with a very small filter. Sorry that you hear on the background my other radio stations, analog radio stations. I, I will switch it off. It surely hinders. Anyway, important thing to tell is that on that very, very tiny antenna. I could receive here this good radio station, quite good. I don't understand the language by the way, doesn't matter much. It's regarding my part only on the radio reception. So now we tune out. And here we are on the best reception. I don't know the language, I think it's Turkish, but anyway, correct me if I'm wrong. So with this stupid antenna of say uh, two meters hanging to the uh, converter here, this converter, it works. Very good results. Anyway, let's stop and listen. Listen to the analog radio that I've made in the past, uh, published, etc. etc. Also very interesting, of course. <laughs> so let's let's compare in a certain way. Perhaps this is not a real uh, comparison, but anyway, compare. This is Radia Romania, Eastern Europe. And here we hear the fading. We did not hear the fading on the SDR radio because it has AGC. And this radio has no AGC, but. So, uh, it means that uh, sometimes uh, the radio station fades away, comes back, etc, etc. Anyway, uh, talking about this radio, uh, the tuning capacitor, VFO, local oscillator, we can tune out and in. We can find other radio stations. For instance, this one. By the way, all these radio stations pop up during the evening in the Netherlands when it is dark. Uh, during the day, you hear nothing. And now we again see that, say, fading problem. This is Radio China, almost sure.
Zo, so, sharp tuning on the VFO, the local oscillator. And here again. Also, I think uh, uh, Chinese, ra Chinese radio station, but anyway. Um, radio Romania, I'm almost sure. Etc. Etc. So, and here uh, is the tuning of the antenna coil. Will you change that? Will you give the antenna coil more parallel capacitance? Uh, it has an effect on the F, uh, uh, reception of the radio stations, of course. A low parallel capacitance here means that the selectivity of this coil, shortwave coil, goes up very high. I'm going to do that now. Now it's 4 picofarad. So now we have the say the most sharp reception which when we tune in the uh, local oscillator you can surely hear it this is radio china and i made a a slight adaptation to the circuit by adding a 0.22 microfarad capacitor. No, no, that was no adaptation. So, I connected now the loudspeaker not via that uh, choke coil. It's only what it is. Very important. Uh, when you say connect your antenna, the antenna length has a direct uh, effect on the reception results. Also, the capacitor here, this one and that one, and also that one here, have a very tiny capacitance. But when you couple in the antenna here, this is my indoor antenna, say it's, it's it's simply a wire of uh, fa four meters inside my home. Uh, the tuning changes. That means that you can do uh, experiments, say connecting the here, this one, the antenna to this capacitor, or to that capacitor here, or to the other capacitor, etc. They all will have different reception results, and uh, surely certain radio stations can be rece received much better uh, with this capacitor or the other capacitor, etc. All, let's uh, say, regarding the standard radio theory, you can find it in very, very old books of the 1920s, 1950s, etc., etc. But all these say physical and radio technical ideas stay the same because they are bound to the laws of physics. Anyway, let's try to find the stator station. This is one. You can fine tune it here. And perhaps interesting to tell, I've not used here that uh, choke coil. It's directly connected to the loudspeaker. Anyway, let's listen, etc.
A very long video, by the way. Perhaps somewhat too long. French radio station. 